hope you are all having a wonderful day so far. So it is Wednesday right now. A new day, a new morning. And I really want to film another one of those. I'm only gonna eat things, meals, foods I've never had or eaten before because it was so fun last week. So let's do it again today. It is rather early right now. I just got up at 6 o'clock. I'm about to go on a 5 mile run. And I need a tiny little snack before. Usually I have around 80 to 100 calories before I go run. Just helps my stomach wake up a little bit, start digestion a little bit. And normally I have like half a bagel, half a, one of those bagel thins with peanut butter and maybe some jam or some flax seed, something like that. Today I want to try like a bite of each of those bars. I got a variety of peanut butter or peanut butter chocolate bars recently. I've just been craving them kind of. I really barely ever eat bars right now, but I'm very curious. This one, for example, is this kind peanut butter, nut butter filled snack bar. And that's what convinced me because apparently when you break that up, you should see some nut butter inside. However, this tiny bar has 170 calories. It's so tiny. Yum. Oh, that looks delicious. Mm. Oh, I like it. It's not very sweet. The chocolate is more on the dark chocolate side, but it's very dense. By the way, what you hear in the background is my coffee machine. <laughs> nice and salty. Maybe a little too dense for before the run. This one is peanut butter chocolate chip and probably I don't expect it to be brown at all since it says only chocolate chips. This is also very tiny. It's a little brown and this whole thing has 210 calories. I like the consistency and taste. You taste the and you feel the chocolate chips, but you also taste dates a little bit. I personally don't love date. And this bar reminds me of a combination of two bars. I don't know the name right now. One is like a peanut butter based bar and one is a bar with only like five ingredients. I post the pictures here. It tastes just like a combination of those two. So it's really nice. I think, I'm not sure which one I like better. This is a little more fun, I feel like, because of the filling. Mm, okay. I still got 30 to 45 minutes to digest, take out Kona, and then I'll go do five miles. nine o'clock right now and I'm a little bit confused because since the last time we spoke I filmed for two different videos and like three different days so I'm all over the place with like where I, where we are here right now information wise you saw the breakfast right I think I'll put in here a clip of me running I run outside on the treadmill just to have it easier uh, then I filmed a workout and now I am actually like really really hungry so I already had something planned I think I said that though right that I have an idea for something anyhow uh, ever since last Wednesday I am very into this baked oatmeal recipe I had this for breakfast every day ever since um, and today I want to try the same thing just using chickpea flour I still had that in my pantry um, I'll just replace the oats for that and I also am going to do it two different ways. So let's try that. I'm gonna use 50 grams of chickpea flour. Chickpea flour is literally just rounded chickpeas. Then some baking powder. I always eyeball this, have no idea how much. Maybe like 4 grams, maybe that's too much already, I'm not sure. And some water. Again, no idea how much. Here you see the chickpea flour absorbs a lot of water. It's a little bit like a protein powder, um, plant-based protein powder consistency. Chickpea is really high in protein, but not as high as protein powder. 
but that's why the chickpea flour still has all the other nice benefits that are not in protein powder, no matter how plant-based your protein powder is. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I think that's nice. I'm gonna sweeten that a little bit. I'm gonna fill a little bit in here. And then I have some peanut sauce. So this one will be a like peanut butter breakfast cake. There we go. And then I also want to put some of this uh, date chocolate in there. This is chocolate completely only sweetened with date sugar. I got that from Germany. All right, let's put some in here. Top it with a little more dough. Some more chocolate on top. And this is number one. Now for number two, I have some blueberries in here. I'm gonna sweeten them a little bit and use the remaining dough for this one. All right, here we go. I'm gonna bake that for 15 minutes, I think, because that's how long I baked the oats. I gotta try that very quick right now because I gotta I gotta get to work. I'm running really late today. Anyway, so it looks amazing. I have to say, especially this one with blueberries, look how nice it was distributed on top and below. I did not do that. Like that happened by accident, which is really awesome. This one has a really nice color on top, I gotta say. And this one, look how cute. They both look amazing. I'm gonna try this one first. I think a chocolate chip peanut butter, right? That's delicious. Mm. It's still a little hot. Mm. The chocolate, which is melted, um, gives it a nice brownie flavor. I love this. You still smell the, uh, the smell. You you taste the chickpea, but it's not a bad thing. I I think. And chickpea flour is really really moist and soft. I only used. Water and flour, right? No egg, no yogurt, nothing else. And it's still so nice and soft. So that's really nice. Mm -hmm. mm. Now, is it better than oatmeal, baked oatmeal? Maybe, maybe. Now the blueberry cake, wow. like this got even fluffier and this one literally tastes like a blueberry muffin I barely taste the uh, chickpea here I think it's because of the moisture of the blueberries however consistency wise something is missing here maybe maybe coconut nibs or chocolate chips <laughs> But both are amazing. Both are really, really nice. I definitely do that again. Oh, I will. I am still a little hungry. This breakfast did not have as many calories as I thought it would. So I'm just gonna try this here. I had one of those select cafes last week as well. Right, if you watched the video. And um, I'm now going to try the caramel macchiato. It smells very caramel-like. I don't necessarily like caramel too much. I love butterscotch, which is weird because they are very similar. But I got here now just black coffee. You don't see that, but a lot of room. So now I might be able to actually mix it properly, which did not happen last time. The whole thing has around 100 calories, I think. Also, in last video, I did count my calories, right? realized in the end that I totally forgot to include the 100 calories of uh, the mocha that I had. So I should have counted 100 calories on top. Um, there are still clumps. It smells really nice. And it looks as if you had added milk in there. It also tastes like it. Actually, it tastes really good. It's not too sweet. 
Let me add some more coffee. As a great milk alternative, since this one has 20 grams of protein on 100 calories, which is great. That's like protein powder macros, right? No, I like it. I'll add some ice cubes and then I'll be fine. But I like the mocha flavor better. Yeah, so that's it. I'll see you for lunch. Ah, is it hot right now? It's already 1.30 and I hope you see me because I'm parking in the sun. But I just finished at the store. I found some really nice things I spent so much today. Last week I was like, well, we are so cheap eaters, right? Only $20 or so something like that. And that's what we spent on average. But today we needed so much stuff. And I also, so since I'm trying to go back to more plant-based, I got some of those B12s. Have you any idea about what vitamin supplement brand is reliable because I don't really trust those but these are the only ones I found and then I found iron in chewables this is I still got to research that a little bit because they use ferric saccharide it says it's a vegetable a vegetarian gummy so it's it has to be non-heme iron but can it be absorbed by the body is the question so I'm gonna try this because iron supplements usually hurt my stomach but I've never tried chewables. And then I found some really nice things. I, for example, found gnocchis. I might make them tonight because they're spinach gnocchis. So not, I didn't really have them yet, like ever. And then I actually wanted normal rice cakes, right? Like just the original ones, not flavored, didn't have any. But I found those here, the apple cinnamon one. I have never had apple cinnamon flavored rice cakes because I always thought it's just not worth it. Just sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon on a original rice cake and you get the same effect. They smell nice. And I was just thinking that apple cinnamon probably goes really nicely with um, peanut butter. Like if you spread peanut butter on top. Well, look normal. A little boring. It's okay. Not as good as caramel and chocolate for sure. Better than the everything rice cakes. Not worth it compared to the original ones and for sure not compared to the butter flavored ones. So yeah, that's my review. I'll see you at home. I'm gonna make pizza now. Okay, so before I start preparing the pizza, I'm gonna have uh, I'm gonna prepare the dessert, which is Kind of something I have all the time. Uh, I found this recipe called ginormous creamy frozen caramel crunch cake. Sounds amazing. And it's literally just two caramel rice cakes with, I think, frozen whip in between. I don't have frozen whip. I didn't think about that in the store either. So uh, I will freeze two caramel rice cakes with some ice cream. I've got the caramel rice cakes right here. Let me see, let me see, let me see of those and then I got here I took it out a little early already to have it soften up a little bit just like a very average um, ice cream sandwich with vanilla ice cream but I actually I just want the vanilla part from the time let me see oh yeah that works well it's nice and soft already amazing it spreads like butter One more. That's very nice. Now I'm getting hungry. So I'm going to put that back in the freezer for, well, until I'm ready to eat it. Okay, I don't have too much time. It's already three o'clock. Where's the time going? I got to get back to work. But here, very quick, my lunch at three o'clock. I never eat so late. Pizza. The pizza base I used right now was great value pizza crust. I've never had it, I promise. I spread it out and I believe it was because maybe I was just already a little older. I got it a few weeks ago. It was still in date, but um, anyway, I cut it up and I had to cut out a pretty big bit chunk. Half of the pizza I made for Abe, just normal with pizza sauce and cheese and stuff like that. And then a piece of it, I wanted to have like a, just like a pizza bread kind of thing. So I really just have olive oil, tomato and mozzarella on there. Mmm, mm, beautiful. Just what I wanted. And then here I have a sweet pizza. 
awesome. I think I tried to make a sweet pizza once in my life. I don't remember what I had put on that pizza on that sweet one. It's been like two years, I think. But this one is like a strawberry and cream one. So it has cream cheese and strawberries on this side. And here it's just cinnamon and sugar. Mm. And then in the middle is a little bit of peanut butter. All very beautiful. But then here is my vegetable. I got more in the back. I made some okra, I think you say, which is a vegetable I have never had. I read about it in a book that I had to read for school. It's a little bitter, isn't it? Besides that, it doesn't taste like a lot. It reminds me a little bit of celery. It tastes like celery just without the celery taste. Consistency is like celery. It's fine, it's okay. Not my favorite vegetable, mm, but yeah. So I'll eat that and then I'll be back for dessert. That's nice. This is too much. Or it's just not enough ice cream for both. But that ratio, that is nice. Last snack? I think so. Maybe I'll have another snack after dinner, but so far last planned snack for the day. I got another coffee here as well. I think I'm done with work for today and got time to just relax a little bit right now, which is nice. Before I do that, I found those two bars at the store today too, two cliff bars. I had cliff bars a few times. Remember, I didn't like it that much, but I don't think it was a peanut butter flavored one. And this one, yeah, sounds really nice. It says it's peanut butter filled. Hey, looks nice. Might even look a little nicer than the kind bar did. The one that was filled as well. Wow. You taste the date out a little bit again, but not that bad. Mm -hmm. It is really nice though. And this one is just very simple crunchy peanut butter. This one feels a little heavier too. It's a little thicker. And I think that's the way Cliff Bars originally look like. Very dense and just, yeah. Very chewy. Just like a energy bar, right? Energy granola direction. <laughs> yeah, I got from today in the morning the leftovers. So this one was the date flavored one, the chocolate chip peanut butter one, I believe. And this one was the peanut butter filled one. Yeah, I think I like this one. The kind peanut butter filled one a little better than the um, Cliff peanut butter filled one. Though both are really nice. I don't know. Mm -hmm. And this uh, kind peanut butter chocolate chip one reminds me really of those perfect bars, which are really delicious in my opinion. But yeah. <laughs> oh, that's not kind, that's Lara bar. I think I like this one the best from all the ones that I tried today. Anyway. I'm gonna relax now a little bit. I'll be back for dinner. It is already after 8 o'clock. I don't know where the time went right now. The last two hours I spent literally listening to some podcasts and just cleaning. I love cleaning. That's like my way of zoning out, I guess. And not meditating, but I just like I like to relax while I do that. Normally when I clean it looks a little bit more chaotic afterwards or like in between because I dis or I reorganize everything, right? So I'm kind of in between still. But I am going to eat now. I decided not to make any gnocchis right now. I'm not really feeling that right now. I just want something fresh. So uh, I got you some vegetables. I have the leftover okras and zucchini. I cooked that together and then I put some nutritional yeast in there, which I just found recently. And I'm very surprised, to be honest. So nutritional yeast is kind of like a cheese replacement for a lot of plant-based eaters. And I looked here on the back side and do you see the amount of minerals that is in nutritional yeast? I actually thought that vitamin B12 is something that people who don't eat meat 
they can't really get it any other way and like every vegan and plant-based person has to make sure to eat or get in vitamin b12 through supplements but this thing here shows me that um one like nine grams i got in here like three times the, the amount of one serving um but one serving already covers your b12 need five times so i'm not sure Maybe you know more about that. If yes, please let me know because I'm confused. Anyway, I want to try that because I have never had it. Mmm. You see how cheesy that is? Oh. That's a lot better than I expected. I did try nutritional yeast once before it worked. I think I sp uh, sprinkled it on some vegetables like salad, raw vegetables. Didn't like it that much because it didn't taste anything. But this actually tastes cheesy. It tastes really nice. Cheesy and a little turmeric-like. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting, but really nice. And then besides that, I'll also... I found that in my pantry. I have no idea when I got that, but this is like a split pea soup. And I love the consistency right now already. It is very, very thick. I love soups like that. Mm, but that doesn't taste as nice. It's not as creamy as I would have liked. It tastes very grainy right now. Hmm. It reminds me a little bit of like potato stew soup. But it's not really that great. This is nice though. So I'll have this. And I think I'll also just make myself a bowl of fruit. I got a lot of apples and some grapes today. I just want something fresh. But besides that, I think I'm done for the video. I don't think there's anything else... I want to eat today that I have never had, but that's okay. I'm talking for long enough already. So thank you again so much for watching. I appreciate it a lot. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know that you liked it. And then I'll see you in the next one. Thank you again and bye bye.